Evans Kiratu has become the second person to lose his life from the demonstrations against the contentious finance bill of 2024. Kiratu's body lies at the Kenyatta funeral home causing pain and despair to the family. Mimi ndio mama ya Evans Kiratu. Mwenye aliyokufa ama aliaga kutokana na explosion ya cancer. Sasa niko hapa nimevi mwili nime, nimeona ni yeye ile nimegeomba ni haki ya mtoto wangu sababu yeye alikuwa anajifanyia kazi na alikufa akiwa tu kazini sasa naomba tu hata serikali tuambie kusema ukweli tuliwachagua ndio mtu ulio watoto is a young guy na nilikuwa na expect na na matumaini mengi kutoka kwake. The family mourned their son as the hardworking individual whose bright future has been ended unfairly. The deceased is my nephew and we are demanding for justice. He's only 21 years old and he had future for him. So let's justice be sentenced for him. Chris Munene, a young gentleman who came to Kiratu's aid after being hit during the demonstrations, said the delays at the Kenyatta Hospital contributed to the death of Evans Kiratu. I was among the first people who responded to the uh, call of this young man when he was actually hit. And uh, we took him to Kenyatta National Hospital mm. where we met a huge line actually of around seven patients who were waiting uh, to be attended to. So we tried all our best to add the doctors to come in aid. Uh, he was writhing in pain all the way from uh, Kenyatta Avenue to Kenyatta Hospital. He kept on wailing and crying. Haki Africa further condemned the police for using excessive force in dealing with the demonstrators, causing deaths of young innocent people. We want to ask the DCI, please be in the side of justice, facilitate the justice quest, and do not put more pain in the family of Rex and Evans. And on that note, we are still going to be on the street. We know that you people are trying to, uh, to, de to distort our organizing. You are trying to intimidate us. You saw what you came to do to Bonfaz Mwangi and Osen Halid. We are aware, but we not relent. And so we want to call upon the young people and the people that love justice. We have to organize, we have to unite, and we have to be in the front line because the lives that are being lost. The organizers of the street protests have planned a week-long series of demonstrations against the finance bill, which has been termed as punitive and oppressive. Anthony Kwemoi, K24 TV, Nairobi.